What's going on, everybody? This is Travis. I'm Philip, and welcome back to Candid at the Movies. And we will be reviewing a movie we basically took a shot on called My Old Ass, and it does star Maisie Stella and Aubrey Plaza. Philip, <laughs> <laughs> how did you feel about this movie? Hmm. <laughs> well, Travis telling the truth. Yeah. This was basically but a choice between this one and I can't even remember what the other movie was. Yeah, we flipped the coin. <laughs> Heads that one, tails my old ass, and my old ass won. Yeah. So <laughs> that's what we went to go see. Coming of age story mm -hmm. about the plight of this 18 year old who apparently is, is, is at the beginning very self-centered and thinks of nothing else but getting ready to leave this little town in Canada that she lives in for the big city, which is Toronto. Yeah. So, um, and in her last few days, she goes hanging with her buddies mm -hmm. and they decide to do some mushrooms. Good stuff. And of course, <laughs> each of them trip in their own different way. Oh, yes. One falls asleep, falls off the log. <gasps> One can't stop dancing. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Elliot, yeah, Elliot, yeah, she 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 thinks nothing is happened to, happening to her until her thirty nine year old future self shows up, mm -hmm. and uh, she tries to get future information out of her, and <laughs> of course, y'all 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 know how this is gonna go, yeah. If you could go back and tell your younger self some things, you would. But do you expect your younger self to listen? No. Mm -hmm. And of course, Elliot <laughs> listens to some of it, but not all of it. And um, so we follow that story along how she <laughs> manages to go along and fix some things and others she, let, she lets happen. So, I, like I told Travis, I'm still trying to process what I just saw. <laughs> because, um, you know, everybody has always said, you know, what if, if I could go back and tell 20-year-old me some mm -hmm. things I would, and there would be some things that I would avoid doing. Absolutely. <laughs> I get that. I get that part. Right. But, uh, I don't know. It's on a cranberry farm. Yeah, I don't know no cranberry farms around here. Yeah, it's in Canada. Uh, ain't, I've seen Canada, but I ain't been in it. It's about the most Canadian thing I can think of. I mean, <laughs> I, I got as close as you could get to without going in it. Been to Niagara Falls. So yeah, yeah, got it. <laughs> Didn't have a passport yet, so couldn't go over. But I seen it. I got pictures, but there wasn't no cranberry farms in the pictures that I got. <laughs> uh, number two. Um, this is a this is an eighteen year old white girl, vastly different experience than what I experienced at eighteen. Yeah. So you know, um, but you know, trying to see some things that I hadn't been privy to, and this was different. Don't say that. Don't say that. Look, this this was different. Yes, it was different. Cause she 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 does experience. Some things. Oh yeah. Um, and of course <laughs> with the love interest. Uh yeah. I, hmm. <laughs> so this wasn't your cup of tea. It, it not necessarily what my cup of tea, but it's like I told you when she finally decided to engage the love interest and yeah. the conversation, it was just like yeah. that don't work in the real world. I, I don't know not one actual human girl that's gonna have a situation go down like yeah. that. Just, yeah, you know. No dick sex. <laughs> just, just, no. Yeah. Um, if you call it dick sex, leave a comment below. Because <laughs> that was, that was a new one for me. I was just like, you know, hey, dick sex, all right. Yeah, <laughs> cool. I, didn't, I, I didn't know, you know, I, I didn't know we were supposed to be naming it in particular now, so... <laughs> Uh, new one on me. I, I, I guess I learned something. I, 
I just thought sex was sex. You know, they, you know, there's different different varieties, <laughs> different types. But no, we didn't go so far. We have to. We might we, we might have a shirt out because we all do sex. We have to we have to specifically name it. So yeah, just just tears for the tears. Apparently. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> again, like I said, um, it was different. It was different. <laughs> What did you think, Trav? Honestly, I think for a coming-of-age film, it was a different idea. They consider it on Wikipedia a science fiction one. I don't... It was just a comedy drama to me. No, no, don't be fooled, folks. This ain't the least bit science fiction whatsoever. Last time I checked, Get High was not science fiction. You know, outside of seeing that weird thing on Wikipedia, I feel like this was a pretty cool coming-of-age drama. You know, seeing it from a girl's aspect was pretty cool to see. And the dynamic of a uh, older self trying to tell the younger self of things that you should do. Some of the subject matter does get serious about life, which I appreciated that. I was just like, okay, there's some things my younger self wouldn't be thinking about at that time. And... Overall, it makes you appreciate what the older person is trying to do. And by the end, it also makes you appreciate being young, experiencing things in life. And I thought that was a cool concept to a movie I didn't think I was going to get, uh, that being that deep at that time. I thought this was just going to be some type of like super bad comedy where it's just vagina jokes, dick jokes. And it kind of showed it had a little bit more to that. They still talked about it, but it wasn't... A little bit of depth. A little bit. Yeah. It gave me some depth. So I was like, I appreciated what it was. And the tripping scene in the middle of the movie probably was one of the funnier things I've seen this year. And I was like, I appreciate that. Of all things, the trip on and Beaver shows up. Young and, Beaver. You yeah. know, hey. Yeah. hey. Wouldn't have thought it would work, but it worked in that movie. <laughs> but I feel ultimately this is probably going to get a, be a movie that gets slept on. But I, I hope people check it out. Well, I... I, I from from the the previews, yeah, you know, yeah, I could see it being slept on because from from what you see in the previews, it's just like we was having that conversation before the movie. Yeah, the movie from the previews, the movie may not speak to certain folks. Right, you're gonna think you're gonna get just Aubrey Plaza all day in yeah. this movie. She is barely in this movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> she shows up once once old girl gets high and then she takes a break. Yeah. She, you hear her on the phone, so mm -hmm. you're not an Aubrey Plaza fan, and you're like, I can't stand her stuff. This will be perfect for you because you barely get her in it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you know, hey. Yeah, but it, it, <laughs> it, like I said, it was different. I ain't gonna say it was bad. It was just, right. it's just different. Just a different type of comedy, and, and you know, seeing, seeing, seeing life from a, a, a different angle, uh, mm -hmm. from, from where, where you came from, it was just, just different. Yeah, you know, just different. It's a different. And different is not bad. Not different it's, works a it, lot. It may not be my experience, but it's not bad. You know, yeah. don't expect everybody to have the same experience I had. Right. Um, but I can tell you right now, if I run into my older self, I'm not kissing myself. I'm not going to do that. No. I think that was probably like the most maybe take you out of the movie a little bit moment. Yeah. Just, just no. Yeah. I have no desire. No. 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 I, I had to give myself a high five. Hey, you know, pound cool. all day long, yeah. you know, just, but, uh, you know, that, that was kind of took me out, but, you know, she was experimenting in life and everything, so. Yeah, you, yeah and, no. and people do, people do do that, more yeah. so here lately than, than, than when I came up, but yeah, they do do that, and, uh, yeah. tis what it is, um, <laughs> hence the. As Trav said, hence the hence the clarification on what type of sex you gotta have now. So yeah. Dick sex. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag dick sex. <laughs> That's all you need to know. <laughs> so Trav, what, yeah. what, what would you grade the movie? In all honesty, for how different it was and how the story went deep at times that I wasn't expecting, I'm gonna give it an A minus. Because I think this is probably one of those films that everybody should check out. I don't know if it's going to make my top 10 list, but because I got to look at that thing by the end of the year. But I feel like overall, this is a fun movie that anybody that has teenagers can watch. Okay. It's not for the kids. 
No. Even though she 18, no. It's not a kid to me at all. No. You want them, yeah. You want you want them to be grown a little bit, mm -hmm. so so they don't come home asking you questions. Like, well, what's this and what's that? What's yeah, you, you don't need those questions. You, you don't need that in your life right now. So just just don't <laughs> don't even do it. Don't even do it. Uh, what's your score? I think I'm a. Now you know me. I, I, I always I'm always <laughs> thinking straight from the straight from the wallet because you know we were yeah. hard for this cheese you know we worked hard mm -hmm. and uh <laughs> that being said um i can't i can't go as high as tramp Respect. but uh i think i would end up giving it a c plus okay i can respect that where i would say if you were debating on something and you flipped a coin like we did and mm -hmm. it landed on that there are worse things you could see very true. There are worse things you it can is. see. You could watch, be watching Megalopolis right now, hearing about being in the club. <laughs> but hey, that's all we're gonna talk about when it comes to bad movies, because we're gonna talk about good things. <laughs> and, and like good I said, things. this was this one wasn't bad. It was just, <laughs> it was different. It was different. Yeah. So you know, and different ain't necessarily bad. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> you would, I don't think you would come out of this feeling like you was robbed. Nah, you wouldn't. So that's why I, I would give it the C plus because you could you could you could take it or leave it. But if you would have yeah. saw it, you wouldn't feel like oh, I just wasted my money. You'd be like, nah. that's cool. That was different. Yeah, you gotta give you gotta give some things different love. You know. Yeah, yeah. That, that was different. Oh, you know, just open your mind a little bit. You know, come out come out your box for a minute. Yeah, and and, and look at it through another lens. And yeah, don't don't watch the same three movies you watch every year. Oh. Don't do that. Oh, you, you, you expand do your mind. A little bit of variety. Yeah. A little bit. So Don't yeah. let your three movies of the year be Medea, a Marvel movie, and a weird comedy on Netflix. Watch, watch more than that. You know? Or Titanic. Don't yeah. let it be Titanic. Yeah, don't watch these Titanic I'm, movies. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I still can't stand that damn boat. <laughs> you made me wait two hours to that joke got so So, there you go. But, yeah, expand, expand your mind a little bit. I don't know why he over here hating hating on Tyler. You know, we all know Medea got a prostate, and Medea can be funny at, at that time, but we know she got a prostate. So, and if you've ever seen Tyler live in that play, and you see him break character, and the real Tyler comes out of Medea, it's just hilarious. Uh, but we'll let him why, review Tyler movies. I, I, I don't know why I he hates him, but in. you know, he, he just like Halle Berry movies. I'm good. I don't need to watch him no more. Halle was good at Boomerang. That was 92. It was, but it was still good. It is 2024. It was still good. Without, oh. without, her, without her, love, love wouldn't have brought your ass home last night. We can't be living off of 92, okay? Why we not? can't be living off of 92. Why not? You gotta keep moving not, on. 92 Halle was, was really good. Mark Wahlberg is still living off of fear from 96, and he is not good. But we're going to stop ranting. <laughs> <laughs> this is Philip. I'm Travis. This is Candid at the Movies. See y'all at the next one. Peace, Peace folks. <laughs>